Now, in just a few minutes, the jury and the candidates will be gathered here on the stage and we'll hear the announcement of the winners of the 2019 Prix de Lausanne. But before that, we have the great pleasure to announce the recipient of the third Prix de Lausanne Lifetime Achievement Award. Now, this year, we honor the work of an outstanding prima ballerina and director who's made a significant and enduring contribution to the world of dance. For her memorable career, for inspiring the choreographic genius of people like John Cranko, Maurice Beja, and John Neumeyer, for delighting audiences of millions around the globe, and for her devotion to the world of dance, the Prix de Lausanne has the honor to present the 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award to Marcia Heyde. Marcia, I would love to send you my most heartfelt, my deepest, my biggest, my greatest congratulations for this honor to your life, to your wonderful life, and especially because I've had the privilege of sharing your life, of dancing with you, of creating many very special roles for you, and then dancing with you again when Maurice Béjar choreographed Les Chaises with us. Uh, it was such a deeply moving experience that I somehow still feel that you are my wife. And anyway, I am not with you, but please know that just as on every day, I am with you in my thoughts and with my love, dear Marcia, it's John. And now, please welcome onto the stage the Artistic and Executive Director of the Prix de Lausanne, Catherine Bradney, one of this year's candidates, Belle Pickering, and the recipient of the 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award, Marcia Heyde. It's 
It is such an honor for me to award this Lifetime Achievement Award to Marcia Hede. Marcia, you have inspired the world's greatest choreographers who have created the world's masterpieces. Thank you so much. Just to mention a few, John Cranko's Romeo and Juliet, Onegin, The Taming of the Shrew, and Carmen. John Neumoyer's Lady of the Camellias, A Streetcar Named Desire, Medea, and Hamlet. Not to mention other choreographers, including Kenneth McMillan, Glenn Tetley, Yuri Killian, William Forsyth, Mats Eck, and Hugh Schultz. I will never forget how you inspired Maurice Béjart every time you danced his choreography, and how lucky I was to see you dance in Vin Vin, Isadora, and Les Chaises. You have truly been an inspiration to me and to the entire world. Not only your unique way of dancing, but your artistry and your amazing personality. Change the image of the prima ballerina forever. I also remember you directing the Stuttgart Ballet and seeing the admiration and respect from the dancers in the company towards you. How fortunate the Santiago Ballet in Chile is to have you as their current director. On behalf of the Prix de Lausanne, we thank you for all that you give of yourself to the dance world, and we are honored to give you, dear Marcia, the Prix de Lausanne 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award. You are a beautiful dancer. I really, I enjoyed watching you dance, and you have a very special quality. So I wish you all the best for your future, that one day you also get one of these. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Katy, I don't know how to thank you for having thought of me to receive this beautiful award. Really, it's such an honor, and it touches my heart. I'm very emotional. I'm Brazilian. <laughs> I start crying immediately. <laughs> and I had a special life, still have a life. But my career was, was special. It was special because the choreographers wanted to work with me. So that means that everything that I danced, I danced with things that were created on my body. And that's a fantastic feeling, because it's as if you own the things, you know? And uh, was the most beautiful moments for me was when I was standing in the studio. The choreographer was there, Granko, Obeja, Neumeyer. And I was waiting, waiting. And suddenly they would say, OK, let's move. And then everything started. And this prize, this award, really also goes for all the choreographers that made me what I am today. And that I'm so thankful to all of them for having given me all those fantastic ballets that they created that still lives today and gives the opportunity for other dancers to have the experience that I had. Of all the choreographers, there are four that became more than choreographers for me. They became my friends, my mentors, and they never left me alone. John Cranco, Maurice Bejar, Kenneth Macmillan, 
and John Neumeyer. I am what I am because of those men. And really, I never forget, when Krenko died in 73, I received one telegram. The first telegram that I received came from Maurice Béja. And he said, je suis là pour toi. I'm always here for you. Whatever you need, ask me because you, you get it. And next thing, I picked up my two main dancers, Richard Craig and Egon Madsen, and went to Béja and I said, I want Le Compagnon et Ramp of my two dancers. And he gave me. And there started that whole trip with, with him, with Don. So this is for me, about also for all the choreographers that helped me be what I am today. And you know something? I'm a bit crazy, but I still think when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I put my feet on the floor and I say, you know, Marcia, the best is still to come. <laughs> Thank you, Marcia Haidu, not only for doing us the great honor of accepting the award, but those really inspirational words here today. Thank you.